The artwork for the Giant Music Q&A series is provided by GoPro Keo. Please go follow him on Twitter at GoPro Keo. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of the Giant Music Q&A series. Today's question comes from at I underscore guy underscore animate. And the question is, at Giant Music, what are your favorite games? So... I took this as video games. What are your favorite video games? That's how I'm going to answer your question. I hope that's what you meant when you asked it. When people ask me, Jan, do you game a lot? I would say no. But when I was preparing to answer this question, I started compiling a list of games I've played in the past and what games I've, I enjoy. And I don't know if I would consider myself like a hardcore gamer or a gamer, but... I think I'm a little bit of a gamer because there's a vast variety of games that I play and I really enjoy playing them. So I'm going to go through a couple of them. By a couple, I mean uh, quite a few because there's really a lot of games I want to talk about. You'll see very quickly that there's a theme in these, these games that I like. They're either anime games or classics. You'll see what I mean. So games I really enjoyed playing as a kid, definitely, I was really into Super Mario Land 2 on uh, the Game Boy Color. That was one of my favorite games. You, he had this cool evolution where, like, if he hit one of the blocks, it was a character that came out and you actually fly through the stage, and that was so much fun. I've beaten that uh, game so many times, collecting the six coins, then beating the final boss. I, I found all the, like, extra levels and everything. It's, it's a really fun game. Another game I really enjoy is Tetris. Tetris is a classic, and I love playing Tetris. I would spend hours playing Tetris and uh, memorizing how I could, like, put blocks together and how I could clear lines as quickly as possible. And I would play on a marathon mode where, basically, after you clear a certain number of blocks, the game would get faster and progressively harder. That's a really fun game. I'm also a really big fan of Galaga. I love that game where you have to, like, shoot the, the spaceships and move around and try not to get destroyed. I would usually would lose that game pretty quickly, though. So... I enjoy it, but, you know, I, I'd stop playing it after a few tries. They'd be like, ah, oh, I suck too much. Still within the classics, a couple of games I really enjoyed. Pac-Man. I loved Pac-Man. Are you kidding me? Pac-Man is a great game. I would uh, try not to get eaten by the monsters, and I would collect as many dots as possible, and I would always go for the bonus points, and I'm always trying to win. I would play it in a very risky way. I would, I would always try to, like, lure as many of the monsters as possible to one corner and then escape that corner and, like, nab uh, as many dots as possible while that's happening. That's one of the techniques I used to use, but I, I it took a lot of practice. Like, at first, I would always get killed. It would always corner me. I would never find a way out, and I would be like, God damn it! Another game, another classic I love is Mario Bros. Mario Bros. is absolutely the best game on the NES ever. I love playing Mario Bros., and I usually would get quite far... It's a classic. Any Mario game is a classic, and the, the theme song is great, and I love playing that game so much. It, it just, it's, it's childhood. It, it represents childhood for me, and all those games are, are great games. Now focusing more on anime games I would play, I love playing on the uh, Game Boy Advance Yu Yu Hakusho Tournament Tactics. That game is so much fun, and it's like... Kind of like this chess version of Yu Yu Hakusho where you get your characters, it's a map, and then you can move them. They have uh, certain attacks with certain ranges and you get to upgrade them and you go throughout the maps. And it's a representative of the Dark Tournament from Yu Yu Hakusho, which uh, last episode I talked all about Yu Yu Hakusho, so you should go check that out. And you collect characters as you would go through. I mean, in, in, within the first stage, you would collect uh, Kuwabara, the Mass Fighter, Kurama, and Hiei. Uh, by the time you like fully upgrade Hiei, I think he's the best one. Maybe not in terms of range, but he has like a really strong attacks. I love, I love his uh, Mortal Flame attack and uh, the Dragon of Darkness Flame attacks. I mean, I'm just a Hiei fanboy, so I'm gonna be biased. I'm gonna be super biased. But Yusuke does have better range for sure with all the spirit uh, guns and uh, Mega Spirit Gun at the end. That's like the final attack he unlocks. What I didn't like about that game which i mean i i get it i i get that they had to happen because genkai does die in yu yu hakusho uh, during the dark tournament arc she does come back but she does die right so at one point in this uh, game you would fight Taguro as the mass fighter who is genkai right and then obviously in the in the anime Taguro kills genkai in the video game same thing happens so you lose one of your players every team can be up to five players so you're like basically forced to choose like one of the other characters like renku or yukina and you have to like upgrade them all the way back up so that was a thing i didn't really like about that game but you know it, it adds a, a layer of difficulty to it so it, it, it can be challenging so i really enjoyed that game i really enjoyed the uh, dragon ball boost fury Boost Fury is an amazing game on the game boy advance the entire boost saga on game boy and it's so much fun you get to play as Goten, Trunks, Adult Gohan, Vegeta and Goku you can fuse to get Gotenks in them just the Super Saiyan and all that stuff 
And it's really fun. You you really play throughout the entire thing from like Bobbity's spaceship to like defeating Kid Boo. The Burrows in there. It's a great game. Moving on more into the PS2, there's a bunch of games I loved on PS2. Uh, there's two series of games that I loved on PS2. All the Dragon Ball games and all the Naruto games I loved on the on the PS2. Starting with the Naruto games, I loved Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles 1 and 2 are both awesome games. I know they didn't get really good reviews, but I loved it. Naruto Chronicles, you know, obviously uh, you can really only play as, as Naruto, and if you want to switch to another character, you know, they have a limited amount of time with the chakra bar. That sucks. You know, I wish you could like play with all the characters and stuff. Chronicles 2 was really, really fun. It, it was way much better than Chronicles 1, obviously. I really like uh, the uh, story there with the, the puppet clan. The Shirogane clan, I think it was, is what they were called. Love playing as Lee and Guy. And what I really liked also about playing with Lee and Guy is that you can actually unlock the eight gates, which was really, really cool. It's just, it's a, it was a really fun game. I also love playing the Ultimate Ninja series from Naruto. Ultimate Ninja 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I played all those games and beat all of those games. Love them so much. My favorite of the entire series was Ultimate Ninja 3 because it's pre-time skip. It's the last one that's pre-time skip. The tournament mode you have in there, it's basically like this uh, where you have to con collect these like blue or, or red diamonds. It's like a battle royale and it's really fun. And so I, I played as that. And I played that and it was really, really, a really good game. For the Dragon Ball games, my favorite were the Dragon Ball uh, Budokai Tenkaichi. One and two are absolutely awesome. I'm not sure if there's a third one, but I really like playing that. It, it wasn't like a 2D fight. Well, I mean, like Budokai isn't like necessarily a 2D fight, but like you can actually explore the entire fighting map when you're playing Tenkaichi. You can fly around and you really do. There's way more freedom. And that's what's really fun about it. Way more fun than the, just the straight up Budokai. And finally, I didn't want to like leave out this particular game because I really loved it and I didn't want to only talk about anime games and classic games. I'm a huge fan of Ratchet and Clank Deadlocked on the PS2. That is such a fun game. Playing as Ratchet, you basically get, get captured. Demon Vox and uh, everything and the, how they have to go from planet to planet and destroy it and, and complete these challenges. And like the commentators, the, the sports commentators were so much fun to listen to. <laughs> it's just, it's a great game. I absolutely loved Ratchet and Clank Deadlock. So yeah, those are the, my favorite video games. They kind of give you a, a, a spectrum of uh, what games I really enjoy. And I know they're, they're old games. They're not recent games. I'm not naming like... Uh, I don't know, uh, Call of Duty or all those games. No, I'm not. I'm not a particular fan of all of those games. I'm really fan uh, a fan of like my childhood games and when I played as a teenager. I really like the nostalgia effect it has, and that's what I, really what I'm a fan of. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode of the Giant Music Q and A series. Make sure to subscribe and uh, follow me on Twitter at Giant Music and like my Facebook page, facebookcom forward slash Giant Music. Do all those things, and I will be forever grateful. You guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. Uh, I will see you in the next episode. Peace out. Bye.